Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews and today we are going to review the Realty Elite theme which is a property listing theme for WordPress so if you're looking to build a real estate listing website then this is a great option because it is fairly easy to use and user friendly as well and I personally found this theme to be absolutely gorgeous and so sleek and professional and if you're looking to make a first strong impression this will definitely definitely achieve that. Now again, Realty Elite is a complete theme that comes with all the plugins necessary to run a professional property site. And as always, if you're interested in getting this theme, I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's wait no further and let's check it out. Today we're going to review the Realty Elite Real Estate and Property Sales WordPress theme. The cost of this theme is 28 US dollars. It's available on the Envato marketplace. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description below. So Realty is a premium and feature rich theme that offers amazing solutions for real estate agents and companies, rental business and listing sites. So if we scroll down, let's have a quick look. So it was $59 down to 39. And now it's on special offers at 28 US dollars. So you might as well enjoy the discount already. And then if you look at the features, it's using the page builder visual composer, which is very handy indeed. Uh, VC header and footer. Again, same very practical tool. Uh, they have an advanced search. It's using Google Maps for the property search, which is very convenient. Again, you have agents and offices and uh, the features, very simple. One click demo install, which, which is what we're going to do now. And the payment gateways, they use both PayPal and Stripe, which are the most common uh, payment gateways at the moment. So let's go ahead and install this on a fresh new WordPress installation and see how it performs. So our first step is to get our hosting and domain name registered. And for that, we're going to go on the cybrancy.com website. So cybrancy, C-Y-B-R-A-N-C-E-E.com. And cybrancy are literally the best of the cheapest options out there. Uh, usually cheap hosting providers are cheap for a reason. But in this case, with cybrancy, uh, you get the same level of service, same level of quality uh, you would normally get with any of those big players in the industry, but at a fraction of the cost. And I would never recommend anything unless I've tested it or used it myself before. And my website, my personal website, mrwebreviews.com is hosted with them. So uh, just to let you know. And to be honest, they're, they're great, they're absolutely great. They provide fantastic support as well, uh, even during... Uh, uh, weekends and holiday periods, uh, they're very re responsive as well. So one thing I like about them is that they kept things simple. So they only have three plans. Uh, the first one is the freemium, which is free, uh, free forever. Then we have the expansion pack and the metropolis. So the free one is free forever and there's absolutely no catch. As I said, uh, this is truly free forever. Uh, they offer 200 meg of web space. It can host up to one website and they offer uh, one gig bandwidth uh, monthly. And uh, this is this will suffice actually if you just want to test things out or if you're running a small website and not expecting to get too much traffic. Otherwise, you can go for the next one up here, um, which will offer you a bit more peace of mind mind uh, because you get 50 gig of web space and again you won't have to worry about space on on this uh, and 50 gig of web space is plenty to be honest and then they offer unlimited visitors and a hundred gig in this case of bandwidth or you can the totally unlimited package which is this one so it's unlimited websites web space visitors bandwidth databases so if you go for this one, it only costs you £4.99 a month, with which uh, translate in US dollars at about $6.50, I think. So even $6.50 for an unlimited package, this is absolutely unreal. So as I said, you can start with this one. And if you see that you're running out of space, you can always upgrade to the next one, up, which is the 50 gig web space. Or you can get this one immediately, which is totally hassle-free, uh, totally totally unlimited uh, whichever you decide indeed so for the sake of our demo here for our review I'm going to use this package here the expansion one so you click get package 
now you can choose a domain here so you can register a new domain uh, if you already have a domain name registered you, you you can select either of those two options so you can either transfer your domain from another registrar in which case both your domain and dom and um, hosting will be with cybrancy or you can use your existing domain and update the name servers which mean uh, that means that your domain name will remain with your current register but you will change the name servers to point to the cybrancy uh, servers and then you keep the two of them separate so for our uh, review here we're going to register a new domain and let's say i'm going to select this and see if this is available so now again if you select a .com domain please bear in mind that .com are the most popular extension so they might not be available uh, this is the most common uh, most popular uh, domain name so uh, you might have to go through a few different attempts and try different variation of your domain until you find the right match so let's see for instance if this one uh, is available or not and as you can see this one unfortunately is not available so you might have to look for a different uh, variation so realty elite and then maybe i'll put website for now just for the sake of our, our demo here and this one as you can see is available so after a few attempts when you find the right uh, match for you if you're happy enough with your result you simply you simply click continue and now you need to select your billing cycle so by default they'll offer you a three-year subscription but you can get a two-year subscription, one-year subscription, semi-annually, or even if you just want to try things out just uh, monthly. And then just again for our uh, review here, I'm going to select annually and continue. And this is our review and checkout. So we have our hosting and domain name. And the currency at the moment is in pounds. So you can change this uh, to match your... Uh, currency wherever you are located in the world so it could be euros could be us dollars so i'm going to select us dollars since that's the international currency and you can see the cost of this package uh, domain name and hosting would be 56 us dollars and now this is where the things are getting very interest interesting if you type in mr so mr web reviews mr web reviews all in capital letters here in the promo code and click validate now we're down to 40 us dollars so you save almost 16 us dollars on this package here so it's 35 percent discounts and it will expire after three billing periods so if you selected for instance a three year a one year subscription this will be valid for three years if you select it monthly it'll be uh, for three months so that's basically it and then after that, you carry on, you fill out your information. So name, last name, email address, phone number, billing details. You create your password as well. Uh, you you go through uh, the payments methods as well. You can select your pay payment method, uh, credit cards or PayPal. And then the only thing you should not forget is I'm not a robot. And here you have to take this one as well. I have read and agree to the terms of service. And then you're ready to go and click checkout. And once you've gone through the whole checkout process, you will receive a couple of emails from Cybrancy. And one of them will contain a link uh, that will um, redirect you to your client area, which is this area here. Now, bear in mind, the hosting uh, will take a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes before it, it becomes active. It'll be pending for a while. So you'll see here in orange uh, pending instead of green. But after a few minutes, you can simply click refresh and you'll see uh, it will become active once active you'll be ready to install wordpress on your server which is what we're going to do now and for that uh, you want to click on login to plesk control panel now as you can see i have two websites hosted on this uh, server i have mr web reviews so mrwebreviews.com which is my main uh, website and then i have mr so m i s t e r ER Mr. Web Reviews. Uh, this is my test platform on which I um, record all these videos on. So in this instance, you will have yourself here your domain name.com or whichever domain you registered will, will be here. 
And the next step you want to do basically is click install WordPress. There you go. And here you can see you have the first option is installation path. And this is HTTPS forward slash and then your domain name.com. So in, in our case, it's mrwebreviews.com forward slash. So usually um, websites are accessible uh, directly from the root directory. But unless you wanted your website uh, .com forward slash something, you would add this here. But as I said, in most cases, uh, websites are your domain name.com. So in here, you put the name of your website. So Realty Elite. And everything else you can leave uh, as is. So the default settings. So at this stage, you would want to copy and paste this in a safe place. So keep your uh, username and copy your password as well. And keep them somewhere safe because you'll need them uh, later on to log in into your WordPress admin panel. So from here, you click install. So the installation is started now. So as you can see, we have installing WordPress 50%, 75%, 80%. So there you go, WordPress was installed. So you can close this message now. And we're now presented with a different window. So would you like to install a few plugins or not? Just no thanks, we'll be fine. And here below mrwebreview.com, you can see this is our fresh new WordPress installation. And as you can see, we have a few warnings here. So it says install plugin updates, theme updates and fix security. You don't have to worry about any of these at this stage because we're going to take care of all this from the WordPress dashboard. And to access our WordPress dashboard, just one simple, simple click, log in, click on this. And welcome to your WordPress dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is go in the plugin section and we're going to delete those two here which we absolutely don't need and then now we're going to install our theme so we're going to appearance themes add new upload theme and then choose file so i'm going to select our team theme here that's so realty elite so initially, uh, this is the file you'll get a very similar file to this uh, when, when you download it from the Envato marketplace. Now, this is an archive file, so you have to extract this first. So if you're using a Windows uh, operating system, you can just right click on it and extract here. Otherwise, you might have to extract it before uh, uploading it. And as you can see, we have a an additional folder now and then a, a subfolder called theme click on that and now you have two files here and the one you want to select is the realty elite.zip and then simply click install now there you go that's done already very fast indeed and then activate there you go our theme is now installed. Let's have a quick look at our website now. So I'm going to open this in a different window. And as you can see, we have the logo here, really Realty Elite, but uh, nothing uh, outstanding really. So it's, it's a basic uh, blog at the moment. And the reason being is because we still have to install all the plugins and uh, import the demo content as well. So let's go back to our uh, WordPress dashboard and if you hover here on top you'll see theme details if you click on this and here at the bottom you want to click on install plugins so this will install all the necessary plugins for this theme and as you can see there's a few here so you want to bulk select them and then here in bulk actions uh, you select install 
and then apply. So I was going to uh, run the installation of all these plugins now. So you have Karki Toolkit, Opal Memberships, Realty Elite Theme Plugin, uh, our, our Visual Composer, Contact Form 7, uh, Compare and Wishlet, uh, Unison. So now we need to enable these, so to activate them. So we have to return to Required Plugins Installer. Click on this. And then select them all once again. And then select Activate. And then Apply. So there you go, all done. So now you want to refresh your installation just to make sure that all the plugins have taken effect. So we go back to our dashboard here. And as you can see, we have a few more uh, tabs uh, that, that, that have been created. In our menu, you have agents, offices, properties, and membership, and so on. So now before we can import our demo content, we need to um, activate the the, this extension here, Unison. So we are prompted here. Do you want to go ahead with this or no? Yes, install this in extension. So click yes. So there you go, this is done. So if you look at Unison now, so this is actually uh, enabled and installed. And our next step is to go in Tools. And you can see we now have Demo Content Installed. So you click on that. And then this, uh, this is our Realty LED Demo. And click Install. And just confirm, yes, I agree. And there you go. So we are currently installing your content. Now bear in mind, this is going to take a few minutes. So just please be patient because it's going to um, import the whole uh, demo content, including pictures and uh, users and everything basically and all, and all. So it might take a few minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video here and I'll meet you guys uh, when the installation is completed. So our installation is completed now. And as you can see, we are being prompted to update our database. So don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Uh, simply click uh, Update WordPress Database. That's absolutely fine. And then continue. And there you go. So we're back to our dashboard now. And let's have a look at what our website looks like now that all the demo content has been downloaded. And as you can see, it looks very professional, very crisp and sharp looking indeed. So you can see on top we have our um, logo and our tagline. We have our address, uh, contact us, uh, so our email address, uh, working hours, social media accounts. And if we scroll down, we have the search box right here. And then you can have your different categories, maybe apartments, lofts, townhouses, uh, villas, maybe bungalows, whichever you want. Latest listings right here and our photo section. And if you click on show more, it will expand in show more. So it's very, very nice looking indeed. Now, this theme offers four different uh, home pages layout. So this is home page one, I believe. Let me click on one. No, this is one. So we have this uh, layout. So as you can see, it's slightly different, but still very professional looking indeed. Uh, let's say layout number two. So here you have a background picture and you have uh, like a mobile responsive menu on the side. Very modern looking indeed and a simpler search box. And then you can have agents displayed right here. Uh, latest offers, your latest listings at the bottom. And then the footer. And then let me show you on page number three. So home page number three is the default one. And then let's go and see it number four maybe. So there you go. That's another one. So this takes the full uh, hero section right here. You can have a very strong uh, tagline or slogan here. And as we scroll down, we have the featured offers, uh, latest listings, and the footer section. 
so i think this one looks very professional indeed so maybe we're going to keep this one for our review here and to make this page our home page we go back to our wordpress dashboard we go into settings reading and then we select here instead of home 3 we select home 4 and then save save changes and then here if we click on the logo we can see that this is our home page now so let me show you all the internal pages again so if you uh, look at the properties or grid view and list view so grid view would look like this so this is a grid as you can see all our properties are being listed here so again it looks very neat and professional and this is to narrow down your searches so you could look for rent for sale you could look for apartment villa love townhouse uh, do you need parking around it uh, how many bedrooms minimum uh, bedrooms do you need and bathroom the same price range you can increase or lower it and the area uh, what size do you want it small to big and then you have property features here so is it does it is it fitted with internet uh, is it near school stores uh, does it have dishwasher and so on you can uh, obviously uh, configure and uh, customize these to make it your own now let's see properties as a list view so as you can see now it's uh, all it's taking the whole width here just for one property at a time so you can have uh, rooms bathroom bedrooms and parking displayed here immediately this one is for rent this one is for sale and so on and so on so let's have a look at, at the next one so we have a single property style one so this is our listing for each and every property so i have a big picture here on top and then the details right here as you can see the google maps is not displaying properly because we have to um, configure the google maps the api key so we'll do that later so attachment you can attach pictures pdf file or documents whichever amenities they'll be ticked if they are ticked in the back end i'll show you how to do that as well and then we have now a single property style 2 so then instead of having a big picture on top we have a smaller picture here with thumbnail pictures like a, like a gallery picture as you can see easy to scroll from one to the other and then the details of the property right here again the map needs to be configured we're going to do that now a contact uh, form right here description attachment amenities additional information and so on so very very uh, comprehensive theme i have to say that looks very professional indeed and let's make a few changes to our home page we're going to personalize this so on top we're going to change the, this area here so we're going to change the address contact us and uh, this section here as well including our main tagline here and make it more uh, personal and for this you want to go back to our wordpress dashboard we're going to pages and then we're going to display all pages and as you can see here we have all the pages we have footer our footers are here as well headers are here and home so i have home one two three four so this is the one we have at the moment as you can see it's marked as front page and if we carry on let me display all the pages at once just one second let me change this to 50. so i can just scroll down and show you so we have a membership login page we have offices, properties, and uh, agents as well. So let's start with our home page. So we just click on this. And as you can see, it's using the WordPress Bakery page builder, which is a visual builder, which is very easy to use. So just to show you, and if you're not familiar with the, this page builder, so basically here we have a welcome to Realty Elite theme and then our main heading right here and followed by a search box. So just to show you what it looks like here. So we have our custom heading here. So this is welcome to Realty theme. So welcome to Realty theme. That's the one. And this one here just below is 
another heading flexible and powerful real estate theme flexible and powerful real estate theme and this is our search box which is called filter properties so this is the one so that's basically how things work on the back end and how to modify things so let me show you how to do this now so, so let me change this for something else just to show you so welcome to realty online directory save and then let's change this one as well flexible and powerful real estate theme so you could have maybe thousands of properties listed each week why not save and don't forget to update first each and every time and let's refresh and as you can see now we have our own personal tagline and headline here so welcome to realty elite online directory thousands of properties listed each week so let's go and change our details here so if you scroll down you'll see that this page is using the header one overlay so you could change that if you wanted to so let's say we're going to click on header two overlay update and just to show you what sort of changes you can expect now we have a more conventional uh, menu bar now you can change it to um, header three overlay let's see what this looks like and then refresh so here is like more like a mobile friendly and you can search the properties right here let's go back to our original one so it was header one overlay update refresh and let's go and change those uh, details now so we go back to pages and it was header three overlay uh, header one overlay wasn't it and from here just edit and we're going to go into content and as you can see this is our address contact details email address and so on so what you want to do if you wanted to change the address just select this and you can put the address here so i'm going to put 7175 shelton street london and then save save changes update and then refresh so there you go now we have our address here that's been changed and the same applies to the other things so if we go back to content uh, we have email address here <clears throat> so that's i'm going to put hello at mrwebreviews.com and the mail to here is for um, browser that are compatible with uh, you can click on it immediately it will bring you to the email address so it could be on mobiles or on comp on uh, web browser that are compatible with that feature so it's mail to and then you just copy and paste your email address here and then set link save update let's see now and you see if i hover on top my cursor changes and if i was to click on it it would open my actual uh, webmail feature so if you have um, let's say gmail on your mobile phone and you're opening this on the mobile and click on this it will open gmail automatically so basically these are three sections as you can see so you have title one link one title two link two title three link three but now you can uh, make it your own and change this to whatever you want. You don't have to put your address, contact, uh, deed, uh, email address here. It could be something else altogether. You can put your phone number, for instance, you know. Uh, it's really up to you now. So this is how you change the header.
so if we scroll down the page now uh, we have our featured offers here which is the featured listing and here the latest offer so i'm going to show you how you can add uh, update and uh, configure those listings now so let's click on this one world, world class ocean front and let's go and have a look and for that we go to our back end again and this time we're going to click on properties and as you can see these are all our properties that are listed on our website so as you can see we have different tabs here so we have uh, property categories amenities label location status types settings and add-ons so let's click on types so types basically these are our apartments lofts townhouses and villas so basically is the type of properties when you go into a search box so let me go back here and you select the type so that's basically your drop down menu here so you could add anything if you wanted to so you could have bungalows add so now we have bungalows now you can see here if we refresh click quickly if you select the type of properties we now have bungalows as well so that's just super easy to actually add different types of properties then we have status here so in this one we have for rent for sale but it could be a commercial lease as well so all you have to do is just add a new status simple as that locations in here this is where you're going to put all your locations so as you can see we have brazil as the main section and uh, as a subcategory with sao paulo uh, germany berlin italy milan and so on so you could have either i don't know how your um, market is broken down into different segments i suppose different uh, provinces maybe different cities and so on so you could have your country and then all the different provinces for instance and then we have label so in here just let me show you on the front end uh, quickly i think if i go into properties so this featured here in red would be this uh, tag basically this label and then let me see if there's any others yeah you have new here so this is another one you have new and maybe there's another few resale resale is the same resale don't know if we have top here but anyways uh, you get the idea here so basically these are our labels then we have our amenities so this is um, a list basically of all the amenities that are in that property and uh, the listing in itself so you have air conditioning uh, built-in wardrobes uh, it could be anything dishwashers uh, floor coverings internet connection and so on and so on so these are basically if i click on a listing here these are basically here you know and if you were to select them on the description page of your uh, listing itself if you tick them they'll be here displayed and it's easy to visualize for your visitors to know exactly what's in that property or not and just to show you quickly how these changes can uh, be reflected on the front end so if we go to all our properties here now this one is called sophisticated estate sophisticated estate that's the one here and you can see we have amenities here so uh, those some of them are ticked and some aren't so if those are not ticked as we said here they won't be ticked on the front end same so let's say if i was to untick them all just for just for our example here and then update and then refresh as you can see none of them are ticked now here in the front end so it's easy for for your visitors to visualize what's available actually in that property uh, i don't think this one would be called a sophisticated estate anymore with nothing available but anyway so let's take everything back just for just for fun let's say so update this now go on and there you go now we can refresh and as you can see all the amenities now are available 
Then let's go through our listing here, our uh, the details of our property. So as you can see, we have the title here. So this is basically uh, what people will see. So this is our title, uh, our description. So on the right hand side, we have amenities, labels. So would you like it to be featured? Would you like it to be marked as new, as a resale or top uh, property? And where is that property located? Where is the location? Then you can select your location here, of course, you know. And the status. So is it for rent? Is it commercial lease? Or is it for sale? So this one was for rent. And one ty what type of uh, property is it? Is it a bungalow? Is it a townhouse? So I'm just going to leave it as bungalows now. And then back to our description here. So is it featured or no? So if you say yes, and this is basically the number uh, that you use to keep track and record of your properties and the location at the moment we don't have the google map so i'm going to i'm going to show you how to get the google map api key uh, sorted in a minute and then you put zip called uh, do you want to display the google maps or not uh, that's the address image gallery this is where you upload uh, uh, the additional pictures so, and then you have your main picture so this is your main picture and these are the additional uh, pictures so just to show you what it looks like if we go back to property style 2 i think it was yeah so this is your main picture that people will see and these are all the additional pictures basically and that's basically it and then you can uh, attach a video as well so if you uh, put in here a youtube link it will uh, display on the front page as well and then we have attachment. You can attach files. So it could be a docx, could be a PDF file, uh, any type of documents you want. So let me go back to this property here. And as you can see here, we have attachments. So you could have pictures, you could have PDF files or Word documents. And obviously you have all the details necessary uh, for your uh, property itself. So you have the price, uh, oh yeah, 2,400, is it what per month, is it per year, if it's a lease maybe it could be in years, uh, the date it was built, uh, parking space is available, bedroom, bathrooms, uh, plot size, area size, orientation, uh, living rooms, kitchens, rooms, and then you have uh, public facilities, so you can add them here, so what do you have, uh, cooling, uh, electric air, construction, uh, type of construction, sewage system, roof. These are all things that you can add and tweak uh, to make it your own, of course, you know. So you can have an agent assigned to it. And uh, that's basically it for our property page. Now let me show you how to fix this here, how to get the Google Maps working properly, how to add your own Google Maps API key. And for that, we're going to go into settings. So properties, settings. And if you scroll down the page, this is where you're going to put your Google API key. Now, to do this, uh, you go on to Google. So let's try google.com. And then uh, Google Maps API key. Enter. And all you do basically is click on the first link here, get an API key. And it's a two step process. So first we need to create a new project and finally uh, create new credentials. So let's go ahead with the first step here. And you'll be redirected to a page like this and then you click create project. And then you give the project a name. So Realty Elite and then create so there you go and we can close this now so we go to the api overview now so click on this one here in the middle we go into credentials and from here we want to create new credentials so click on this and we want to create an api key so there you go. And after that, we want to restrict the key. So click on restrict key. So from here, you want to tick this one here, HTTP refers, and we want to add an item. So the first item you're going to add is star 
dot and then your domain name dot com. So in, in my uh, case, it's Mr. Web Reviews dot com. So star dot your domain name dot com done. And then you'd want to add, let me zoom in a bit, another item after this star your domain name so mr web reviews.com forward slash star so star your domain name.com forward slash star and then done then you want to restrict your key as well the api restriction and open this drop down menu and you're looking for maps so sometimes look like now it won't display so if this is the case just save temporary save and then go back to your dashboard and from here you want to click enable apis and services and then here you're going to look for maps and the one you want here is the maps javascript api so you select this here and you click enable there you go and now we go back to our credentials and now we click the little pencil here to edit and we go back here so now we can restrict the key for the map and we scroll down you can see now we have maps javascript api so you tick that and then you save so please note that it might take up to five minutes for your settings to take effect so just save for now and just um, just wait for five minutes maybe you know before it is actually active and now you want to copy your key we go back to our settings select this Control v paste it and then save and again we might not see the results immediately on the website so i would advise you to wait maybe four or five minutes and then you can go to your website and let's have a look and let's refresh and as you can see now google maps is displaying absolutely fine so this is how you configure your uh, google maps api key and then we have our offices so let's click on this so this is our list of offices so let's say you have uh, multiple locations uh, let's say you might have uh, offices in uh, in london maybe new york paris uh, prague uh, moscow maybe somewhere in japan or china in which case you would list them all here and let me show you in the front end what it looks like offices list yeah that's the one and you can see here this is the list of all the offices uh, based on the different uh, locations and if you had many of them you can even search by locations so this is it so you can have different locations worldwide or maybe within the same country if it's within the same country you could have your different provinces listed here of course or different cities and then we have uh, our agents so let's click on agents so here are all the agents and you have agents levels so let me show you here on the front end so agents list so again this is a full list of the different agents and you can search by location again or by property type or agents selling between basically you can uh, narrow down your searches as well from here uh, and find the ideal uh, agents for your property so here we have uh, agent number one two three four five and so on and the agent levels now it's up to you, you can set that up differently you know and uh, tweak it and customize it based on your own requirements so let me show you all the settings underneath the properties tab so settings here so you've seen already the google map api but let me show you all the others here so you can select which landing pages you want for each and every uh, section here so properties page uh, the profile page the favorite page the compare page so this i would leave it as is you know as default 
uh, compare page uh, speaking of which let me show you quickly what this is so if you go into your listing here you have all the properties and your visitors might say oh what's the difference between this one and this one let's say so what they can do is just hover here on top add to compare and do, go to the next one do the same thing so now we have two properties to compare and from here all we have to do to compare them is right here on top you can see those two double arrows here number two and click compare properties and now we'll be able to compare both of them uh, the same criteria uh, side by side which is very easy to visualize indeed so that's a very very nice feature i have to say uh, nicely done indeed so let's go back to this back to our settings now so and then we have the agent image size so basically when you see our agent here is that size here the picture here you know you can decide you want medium size one large size one smaller one uh, and so on loop image size uh, featured image size so it, do, these are all just a, you customizing the size of the pictures basically you know again you can define the search agent page uh, and then uh, it's got to do with the layouts here and then finally our currency so you can select your own currency us dollars or euros or whatever you know and then if we go into the search box search uh, tab so basically here it is where you tweak everything that's got to do with uh, searches on your website so uh, for instance if we uh, scroll down to bottom uh, horizontal search field and vertical search field so do you want people to be able to search by price by build year by parking by bedroom by bathroom yes or no and the same with the horizontal uh, search field do you want them to be able to search by price um, and so on you know so this is where you tweak all your searches and then we have api And here you can generate a new API key. So basically this is when you want an application, an outside application to communicate with your website. So maybe you want, you have an actual uh, software or cloud software or another website maybe on which you record all, you have all your properties recorded at the moment and you can link them together so they, both the databases will be uh, up to date. And then we have emails. So in here is just to configure all your emails, basically, you know, so of what's the name you want uh, to put here. So you could have your company name here and then your address. So it could be info at yourcompany.com. And then this is just the notification email they will receive for new property submission. So new property submitted and so on you know and the same for an approved property so this is where you tweak your emails and submission page is basically the same you know you can select which page which landing page you're going to use for your submissions but i would leave as is uh, uh, for now and then we have the google captcha which is the anti-spam uh, feature and to generate a recaptcha key simply highlight this Control c Control v and Type in just in Google, type in Google Recapture generate key. There you go. And you're just gonna click on the first link here, Google Recapture sign in Google accounts. And this website is using a Recapture V2. So I'll click this. And then you want to put uh, something here on top. So I'm just gonna put Mr. Webreviews.com for now. And then you need to put your domain name here. So I'm just going to paste it again. I'm going to click accept and then submit. So there you go. So we have the key now. So you can select this. So this is your key, uh, site key. This is your site key, control V. And then secret key. And you're going to put that in that field where it says secret key. And then save. 
and you're all set now uh, against abuse and all sort of spam coming from the outside world so there you go your site is protected now and next step is the membership section so if you click on this you can see we have coupons packages payments member users categories and settings so let's have a quick look at our settings first so general settings and payment gateways so these are the important stuff so as you can see you can accept card on delivery a paypal standard and stripe and you can see here all the details for your credentials are already um, all the fields are uh, available here so if you wanted to go with paypal just with paypal alone just you tick paypal your default getaway select paypal and just put in your email address so your at email.com whichever it's linked to it you know and if it was stripe you can select just stripe on its own in which case you can have your test key and live key and this you'll fetch them from the back end from your admin panel if you log in into your stripe account immediately now you can have both of them of course and then in which case which what would be the default one would you go uh, first with stripe or paypal so it's up to you to select in which case which is the best now emails so in here you can configure your emails so it could be realty or you could put your company name here again your company name and then your email address maybe info at yourcompany.com uh, you can have a success message thanks your payment request is waiting to be confirmed or whatever you want you know and then the different type of notifications so uh, for membership expired so your membership is expired or new membership has been purchased uh, it's been activated it's been cancelled refunded so basically all the different mes messages are in here so let's go through all the steps uh, how to create a membership uh, from the front end if i wanted to subscribe to one so this is uh, the membership page membership packages i'm just showing you now so basically this is my dashboard and as you can see my membership your membership package is expired please upgrade now so i'm not allowed to upload any uh, listings anymore because uh, i haven't renewed i can still access my profile let's see submit property i don't have access to this my properties so these are already listed so that's fine so let's go back to the dashboard and let's say i want to renew or subscribe to a new plan so click on this and here you can set this up the way you want you can customize this uh, you, the way you want you can have basic advanced and premium or it could be bronze gold and silver uh, bronze silver gold or whichever you want so let's go ahead and have uh, let's say i'm going to take the unlimited for now And as you can see, we redirected to the membership checkout. Uh, I went ahead and installed my test uh, credentials for Stripe. So as you can see here, I can type whatever I want. So let's go ahead and create a test order. Let's put the email address. Hello at mrwebreviews.com. First name, David. Last name, Gary, I'm going to put the actual address, 7175 Serpent Street, uh, Covent Garden, City of London, zip code WC2H9JQ, and United Kingdom. So that's okay. And because this is a test account uh, with Stripe, uh, with our test credentials uh, the card we can simply type 4242 all the way and the expiry date could be anything in the future so 12th uh, 2023 and any three code digits basically so now we can complete uh, now click now complete now and there you go our transaction has been completed successfully as you can see 
Uh, our transaction total was 49 US dollars, status completed. And we have a full membership now, premium membership. Uh, we have unlimited listings and unlimited, unlimited features. And if we go in our backend and look at uh, all payments here, just to double check, you can see that this one is hello at Mr. Web Reviews. That's the one, the order we just placed. And that one has been marked as completed as well. So all good, very simple indeed. So and then back to our dashboard here, if you wanted to submit a property, you simply click on this. And then all you have to do is basically fill out all the details. So title, description, uh, is it commercial lease, for rent, for sale, is it an apartment, bungalow, townhouse, a villa. You can upload pictures, uh, put the price, label, and put all the details, obviously, like uh, uh, we've seen before. So this is how a member would be uploading new properties. And this is all their properties here listing, listed right there. So they can scroll all of them one by one. So very easy to use indeed, very user friendly to be honest. And finally, let me show you how the search feature works. So I'll go back to our homepage now quickly. There you go. So what you can look by types, bedrooms, bathroom, kitchens, whichever. So let's say we want an apartment and show results. And he's going to return only apartments, nothing else. So, and you have a quick visual here on the map where they're located. So you have a cluster of three here in France, apparently one in Japan and one in Brazil. Now, if it's only within your own country, you can uh, configure the map just to display your country, obviously, you know. And then, uh, as you can see here, our listing is displayed nicely indeed and you can see by the side the, the type is apartment so if you wanted to tweak this afterwards once you're in the search result you can always change this and select villa for instance and then you have to click on show results and now we have three properties uh, properties as you can see so one is in florida and one is in germany and one in london so basically this is how the search feature is working and then you can have a blog as well on which you can post content, articles, maybe tips as well. And there's two layouts available. So you have list view and grid view. So the list view, basically, it's one article per uh, row. And grid view is one, two, three articles across. So that's basically it. And finally, I'm going to show you how to tweak your footer section. And for that, we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard and back to our pages, all pages. And then you have three photos here. So we have to reopen our home page first. So uh, where is our home page now? This is the one. So I'm going to open this in a new tab because we want to identify which footer it is using. Footer page, as you can see here for our uh, home page, is footer one. So we can close this now. And we're going to open the footer one here. So open this. And now this is where we can tweak our footer. And again, we have our visual composer. So if we go and look at our uh, website itself, the footer, it says contact us, about us, and subscribe. And as you can see here, we have the first one, which is contact us about us and subscribe so you can change this basically to um, customize it to fit your own um, personal details and company details so let's go and change this for now so let's say if i wanted to change the address so you can change this so you can type in here uh, your address street and number and all you have to do basically is save, update, and then refresh. You can see now you have your address, street, and number. And if you wanted to change the email address, click on this one. And then you can type it info at yourcompany.com. As always, save 
and then you want to change this as well sorry so mail to and then you type in your email address again here so info at yourcompany.com and then you copy and paste this here right there set save update refresh and there you go all sorted and now if someone clicks you can see in the corner there it says mail to info at yourcompany.com so if someone wants to click on this either on mobile phone or in certain browser it will open your um, mailbox immediately so you could be using gmail or whatever it is if it's the app installed on your phone it will open the app automatically so about us you can put a bit of uh, content about yourself so you can open this and then you could have uh, a little bit of explanation about your company save update and refresh so there you go it's that simple basically you know nothing too complicated very user friendly indeed so there you go guys that's all for realty elite and as you can see it's an absolutely gorgeous looking theme that contains all the features you'll ever need so let's look at our pros and cons for this theme on the pro side i would say that without any shadow of a doubt that it looks very professional also we were able to import our demo content in just one click and it's fairly uh, intuitive and easy to use and customize as well uh, now for the cons uh, well to be honest i couldn't find anything i th i think this uh, theme uh, ticks all the boxes all together i mean even the checkout process was as smooth as could be uh, we were able to purchase our mem membership in just one step how easy was that now all together i'm going to give this theme a solid 9 out of 10 simply because this theme is just so professional so there you go guys that's all for today uh, i hope you found this helpful if so please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video